PHP 8.1 is scheduled for November 2021 and it's packed with a lot of super exciting features. The Laravel framework is ready to run on PHP 8.1 along with many of the core packages. Also, Laravel Forge and Laravel Vapor include support for the latest release candidate so you can test your applications right now. My name is Mohammed Said, and in this video we are going to look into the most exciting new features in PHP 8.1 and ways you can use them in your Laravel applications. First, we'll talk about enumerations, or enums for short, which is a data type that has a fixed number of possible values. Think of an order status in an e-commerce system. The status can be pending, shipped, or delivered. Enums allow you to represent these values in a uniform, readable way. Using enums will make your code easier to understand. So instead of having to do something like this, you can do this. I don't know about you, but this is more readable than having to find the numeric value that represents the bending status in your database to make the comparison. And to create an enum in PHP 8.1, you may use the enum keyword, followed by the name of the enum, and finally the type, which can only be a string or an integer. After that, you can add as many cases or possible values as you want using the case keyword. Now you might think that comparing an enum case to the integer value will return true, but that's not the case you will need to cast, the integer to, uh, to cast the integer value to an enum or use the enum value to the comparison or for the comparison instead. And to cast the integer to an enum, you may use the from method. This method accepts any value of a type that matches the enum type, which is an integer in our case. Another way to perform the comparison is by using the value of the enum case. And to do that, you may use the value property. Laravel will eventually support enum casts on eloquent model attributes, so the casting is done automatically behind the scenes, and you don't have to worry about it. But until then, and for non-eloquent attributes, of course, you will need to make sure that you are comparing apples to apples when using enums. But that's not all about enums. You can also add methods to an enum like you would do in a typical class. Here we added a progress method that returns the order progress depending on its status. The progress will be 30% if the order is pending, 70% when shipped, and 100% when delivered. We can call the progress method on an enum to get the current order progress. This is very useful when you want to associate a specific state with each value of your enum. For example, you can use this to use a different color in your user interface for each order status. We can also get a list of all the possible enum values using the cases method. This method will return an array of enums, each with two properties, one for the name and the other for the integer value. We can use this to validate a certain value is within the possible values of an enum, or to display the list of possible values in a user interface. We can also use the tryFrom method to find out if a certain value is within the possible values. This method will return null if the case doesn't exist or return the enum value if it exists. If you are excited about this and want to use enums in your app today, Head over to forge.laravel.com, open your server settings screen, and install PHP 8.1 from the PHP section. After that, you can switch any of your Forge sites to use the 8.1 release by going to the site settings screen and visiting the meta section. Another addition to PHP 8.1 is the ability to mark a class property as read-only. These read-only properties can only be initialized once from within the class itself. Any changes to the property after the initialization won't be allowed. You can flag a property as read-only using the read-only flag. 
In this example, we are using constructor property promotion to declare the property, but you can do it using the old syntax as well. The most important thing is that the property can only be initialized once, either inside the constructor or via a setter. Also, you should know that the read-only flag can only be added to type properties. In other words, you must declare a type for your property before you can mark it as read-only. Once the property value is set, any attempt to modify it will result in an error stating that the read-only property cannot be modified. Now let's move to another great addition that allows us to use an instance of an object as a default property value. We know that assigning default values to method arguments allows us to keep the method body clean. Consider this method. It accepts the attributes as a first argument and an optional order instance as the second argument. The second argument is optional, so we create a new order instance inside the method body if one wasn't provided. In PHP 8.1, you can use the new keyword inside parameters default values. That means we can change our code so the default value of the order parameter is a new order instance if one isn't provided. We can use the new keyword inside class constructors as well, so it's not only limited to regular methods, which is cool. And the good thing is that the new instances will not be constructed unless one needed. So a new order instance will only be created if we don't provide any while calling the method. PHP won't create an order object and leave it hanging out useless in memory, which is good. PHP 8.1 also supports intersection types, which allows us declaring multiple types for a parameter property or return types and enforces that the value must belong to all of the declared types. Consider this method. The user parameter here only accepts a value that implements authenticable and authorizable. Otherwise, a type error will be thrown by the engine. This feature can be handy if you work with interfaces a lot. It's complementary to the union types feature of PHP 8.1. PHP has come a long way with types. We now have scalar types, return types, and nullable types. We can also declare union types and intersection types. That must be a good time to use PHP for those of you guys who like types. Again, you can start using all these new features in your Forge provisioned servers. And you can also use it with Laravel Vapor by switching to the PHP 8.1 runtime in your vapor.yaml file. One thing before I go, PHP 8.1 has several deprecations that you should be aware of. I will leave a link in the description of this video. But until Laravel 8.64, deprecation notices were converted to error exceptions that get handled by Laravel's exception handler and cause the program to halt. Starting Laravel 8.65, the handler will ignore deprecation notices, which will allow the program to keep running and won't even lock these notices by default. That way, you can upgrade to the new PHP 8.1 without worrying about deprecations causing your application to hold. And that's it for this video. I hope you are excited for PHP 8.1 and I hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next video.